Hi, first graders. It's that time again. And guess what? You actually have this book. It's in your bag. You might want to pause the video to run and get your literature anthology. Look for this book inside of your bag. The title of this unit is Animals Everywhere. And our first story is called How Bat Got Its Wings. Turn to page 10. This week's story's genre is a folk tale. You guys know what genre is, right? You remember, it's just a fancy word for a certain type of story or book. And a folk tale is a story that happened a long, long time ago. And it's usually a story that has been passed down orally. That means one person tells another person and another person tells another person and they just, it goes on and on and on. Folk tales usually have animals that act like humans. And guess what else? There's usually a lesson to be learned. Pay attention as we're reading. See if you can figure out what lesson we are to learn from this story. Okay, get your reading finger ready and read along with me. How Bat Got Its Wings, retold and illustrated by Gerald McDermott. A long time ago, the animals had a big game of ball. They broke up into teams. One side had birds or animals with wings. The other side had animals with legs, but they did not have wings. The animals who did not have wings were big and fast. They could toss a ball a long way and run like the wind. Now, the birds were fast, but not as big. Yet, with their wings, they could carry a ball way up in the air. The animals with legs could not jump up and grab it. At last, game day came. The animals and birds met on the playing field. Both teams felt very excited. We will win, came the calls. Just then, an animal with four very little legs stepped up. It was a gray bat. He went to the animals. Can I play on this team, he asked. You are much too small to play, laughed the animals. And look at those little legs. We can't win with you. I may be little, said Gray Bat, but I can do lots of things. Next, Gray Bat went to the birds. Can I play on the team? He asked. The birds shook their heads. Our team has wings, they explained. But the animals say I am not big and can't play with them, said Gray Bat. Then Blue Jay spoke up. Maybe there is a way for Gray Bat to play with us. Tell us about it, said Raven. We can give him wings, said Blue Jay. That is splendid, Cardinal exclaimed. So the birds took the skin off the top of a big drum. Then they took sticks and made special wings for Gray Bat. Let's see if he can fly, said Blue Jay. Gray Bat flapped his wings. He went zig and zag. He could not go in a line like a real bird. That's the best I can do, Gray Bat said and smiled. Just sit and wait until we need you, said the birds. At last, the game began. The animals and birds played their best to win. The ball zipped up and down. Gray Bat just sat and waited. When the end of the game was close, each team had eight points. Gray Bat still had not played. With a little time left, the animals took the ball and ran with it. Just then, Gray Bat stood up. 
Let me help, he said. He flew up, up, up with his special wings. He grabbed the ball and carried it in his zigzag way. The animals could not catch him. We win, yelled the birds. Graybat did it. To this day, Graybat plays on the bird team. He flies in his own way. And that is how the bat got wings. Okay, before you go to this page in your Your Turn practice book, I want you to go back and listen to the story again or read the story with your grown-up. Once you've read it for the second time, then go to page 154 in your Your Turn practice book and you're going to fill in the sequence chart. Now on this chart, you see the words first, next, then last. You are going to retell the story. And I hope you remember how to retell a story. And retell just means to tell the most important parts of a story from the beginning to the end. When you retell a story, you can't retell everything. You only retell the most important parts. Usually, the most important parts are the characters, the setting, and the big events from the story. Make sure to retell, well, I'm sorry, make sure your retell includes the characters, setting, and the most important events from the beginning, middle, and the end of the story. Now you go on and retell this story. Use the words from the story to help you fill in the chart on page 154. Have fun.